the good old dog can find a moth on a tree. This is the only dog in America trained to find moths on trees, and there he found a gigantic moth. Good work, Sweep. We trained this dog to find moths and such critters as bagworms on our trees in, in our nursery so that we can find small bagworms or large bagworms and he can find all kinds of bugs as well. But he's really good on big moths. But we tried to train him on bagworms but he fe we found that this dog is exceptionally good at finding bagworms and moths. And so here he is doing his duty. Thank you very much, Sweep. Bagworms on Arborvitus at Highland Hill Farm. Here's an example of bagworms that are on trees. You can tell they're bagworms because they are little round cylinder guys that are crawling around on the tree. They usually have a bag over the worm so you can't see the worm itself. And they use the foliage that they eat off the tree to camouflage their bags. Most of the time when we see bagworms, we go over and we take them and we squeeze them in our fingers just to kill them because there's not a lot of them. But if you go see there is a whole bunch of them like there is on this tree, you may have to spray. And there's an economic threshold where it's worth spraying or it's not worth spraying. You have to see if it's worth it or not. If it's on multiple trees, sometimes you may not see a lot of damage, but there could be one or two. So what we do is we spray them and then we take a sample to see how many of them have died in the sample. Now when you take the sample, you can't squish them in your fingers because that wouldn't make the sample right. So you take a whole bunch of bagworms that you have not squished, that have just been sprayed, and see how effective the spray has been. Now this has been sprayed three days ago, so the sample that we've got is about 20 bagworms there, maybe give or take a couple of them. And we line them up all in a rows, kind of, so we can see which ones are going to move or not. After we line them up, we let them go for a little bit and see how how many of them are still alive. Now just because it's still alive after being sprayed for three days doesn't mean that it's dead. It could mean that it's sick, it could mean that it, the poison hasn't taken effect yet. It is always better to spray a bagworm when it's young. The smaller the bagworm is, the more often that it has to eat in order to grow. So when you spray it, then it has more chance of that spray actually getting into the system of the bagworm. So we uh, we sit here for a little bit and we take a look at the bagworms and we see how many of them died. Now after we figure out how many of them died, we can kind of figure out how well the spray works. Because if most of them died, we don't have to spray again because it hasn't re reached that threshold where it's worth a spraying or not. So what we you have to figure out what it is, see how many of them there are, and then make your decision from there. And that's how we typically do it at Highland Hill Farm. So you can see we have maybe two or three left live there. So we'll take a sample again a little later and see what we must do. Thank you.